Have you ever found yourself immersed in the glitzy and dramatic world of the 1981 TV series Dynasty? Whether it was your initial exposure to the show or a later discovery, there's something timeless about the allure of this classic. Perhaps your favorite classic Hollywood actor from the series left an indelible mark on your viewing experience. As we delve into the captivating universe of Dynasty, let's reflect on those moments that stayed with you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this iconic TV series? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's set the stage for some intriguing facts about Dynasty. Did you know that the show, created by Richard and Esther Shapiro, became a cultural phenomenon during its original run? The saga of the wealthy Carrington family, filled with power struggles, betrayals, and opulent lifestyles, became a defining piece of 1980s television. One noteworthy aspect is the unforgettable portrayal of characters by seasoned actors, including the likes of John Forsyth, known for his charismatic presence is Blake Carrington. Forsyth's performance added an extra layer of gravitas to the show, making him a standout favorite among viewers. Dynasty not only left an indelible mark on the television landscape, but also became a symbol of the excesses and glamour of the era. So, when was the first time you watched this TV series, and which classic Hollywood actor from Dynasty was your favorite? Share your thoughts and join the conversation about Dynasty in the comments below. Your stories and memories are a vital part of the collective appreciation for this iconic show. In the world of the 1981 TV series Dynasty, the glitz and glamour extended beyond the screen. Notable actresses like Rockwell Welch, Angie Dickinson, and Ann Archer were in the running for the role of Lady Ashley Mitchell, adding a layer of anticipation to the show's casting decisions. While the characters adorned themselves with exquisite jewelry, it's surprising to learn that the brilliance wasn't always genuine. Nolan Miller, the designer behind both the clothes and jewelry on the show, admitted that all the gems he created were fake. The exception came when renowned jewelers like Tiffany, Harry Winston, or Edward of Beverly Hills lent their authentic pieces for certain scenes, captivating the audience with a mix of real and imitation luxury. In a poignant twist, Rock Hudson, an icon of Hollywood's golden era, made his final acting appearance on Dynasty. His last role, preceding his death from AIDS in 1985, sparked an unexpected concern in the industry. At that time, AIDS was shrouded in fear and misinformation, with many worrying about casual contact. A minor panic ensued in Hollywood, with concerns particularly directed at Linda Evans, who had shared a kissing scene with Hudson on the show. The interplay between casting decisions, the glamour of fake jewels, and the impact of real-life events added intriguing layers to the 1981 TV series Dynasty. In a world of make-believe wealth and power, the show managed to touch on the genuine anxieties of its time. In the realm of 1,981 Seconds Dynasty, the opulence and drama where it confined to the script. The iconic Filali Estate in Woodside, California, near San Francisco, served as the lavish backdrop for the Carrington Mansion. While the exteriors dazzled in the opening credits and throughout the series, a meticulous replica set was crafted for the interior scenes. This mansion, steeped in grandeur, became an integral part of the show's visual identity. As the casting dice rolled, the role of Alexis, a linchpin character, saw a parade of Hollywood heavyweights in contention. Sophia Loren, Jessica Walter, and Elizabeth Taylor all had their chance but declined, paving the way for Joan Collins to commandeer the role. The behind-the-scenes intricacies of casting decisions echoed the on-screen power struggles, contributing to the show's magnetic allure. Adding a splash of real-life intrigue, George Hamilton, during his tenure on Dynasty, found himself entangled in a real-life romance with co-star Catherine Oxenberg. The on-screen drama often mirrored the off-screen affairs, blurring the lines between fiction and reality. In the lavish tapestry of Dynasty, every detail, from the iconic mansion to the casting decisions and off-screen romances, played a role in crafting a saga that transcended the small screen. The show, with its blend of on-screen extravagance and behind-the-scenes drama, etched its mark in the annals of television history. In shaping the character of Alexis Carrington for the 1981 TV series Dynasty, a pivotal decision altered the course of the show. Originally envisioned as a low-key, passive-aggressive villainess, Joan Collins proposed a transformative idea, drawing inspiration from J.R. 
Ewing of Dallas fame, Collins suggested portraying Alexis as a formidable female counterpart. ABC executives, recognizing the need for a JR type character to rival Dallas, embraced the concept. This shift not only defined Alexis Carrington's character, but also contributed to the dynamic power struggles that became a hallmark of Dynasty. Behind the scenes, the show's casting choices and personnel decisions added to its intriguing narrative. Linda Evans, for instance, employed a unique stand-in during filming a young man with long blonde hair, known to be a friend of hers. Meanwhile, the departure of certain cast members, such as Lee Berger, who was fired for advocating for more screen time for his character, and Catherine Oxenberg, terminated due to a contract dispute, underscored the off-screen drama that mirrored the on-screen extravagance of Dynasty. In the grand tapestry of Dynasty, these behind-the-scenes dynamics, from character transformations to cast disputes, played a crucial role in shaping the iconic series. The clash of egos, inspired casting decisions, and unexpected twists behind the camera all contributed to the show's lasting impact on television history. John Forsyth and Christopher Kaysnove, despite portraying brothers on the 1981 TV series Dynasty, had a significant age gap of almost 26 years. Ironically, both actors passed away within six days of each other in April 2010 Forsyth at the age of 92 and Kaysnov at 66. This age difference, hidden behind the on-screen familial connection, adds a poignant layer to the show's history. The real-life timing of their deaths underscores the lasting impact of Dynasty, a series that transcended the screen. The intricacies of the cast and their personal connections, even beyond the show's run, contribute to the rich tapestry of Dynasty's legacy in television history. Richard Chamberlain, initially considered for the role of Daniel Reese in Dynasty, declined, leading to Rock Hudson's acceptance of the part. This casting decision marked a pivotal moment in the show's history, shaping the dynamics of the characters and their interactions. As the series unfolded, real-life events, such as Rock Hudson's final appearance before his death from AIDS, added unexpected layers to the narrative. The interplay between casting choices, on-screen drama, and off-screen affairs became integral to Dynasty's enduring legacy. The opulence of the Carrington Mansion, showcased in the iconic Philali estate, contributed to the show's visual identity. Interestingly, at the height of its success, producers spared no expense, allocating up to $25,000 per episode for fresh flowers to adorn the sets. However, budget constraints later led to a pragmatic shift producers opted for reusable silk flowers, reflecting the show's adaptability to financial challenges. Intriguingly, the character of Alexis Carrington underwent a transformative shift, thanks to Joan Collins' proposal inspired by J.R. Ewing of Dallas. This decision not only defined Alexis' character, but also fueled the dynamic power struggles that became a hallmark of Dynasty. Behind the scenes, Linda Evans' unique stand-in and cast departures, like Lee Berger's firing and Catherine Oxenberg's contract dispute, added to the off-screen drama mirroring the on-screen extravagance. Dynasty's impact extended beyond the screen, with the poignant connection between John Forsyth and Christopher Kaysnove, who portrayed brothers despite a significant age gap. Their deaths within six days of each other in April 2010 underscored the enduring legacy of Dynasty, a series that, despite its on-screen glamour and behind-the-scenes challenges, remains an indelible mark on television history. As we bid adieu to the opulent world of Dynasty, let's not merely close the book on a television series. Let's take a moment to reflect on the echoes of Carrington drama that reverberate through the corridors of time. Like the sprawling halls of the Carrington Mansion, the memories of the 1981 TV series Dynasty are vast and rich. Whether you found yourself captivated by the power struggles, mesmerized by the lavish lifestyles, or drawn into the labyrinth of intricate family dynamics, Dynasty etched its mark on the canvas of television history. Now, as the final curtain falls, we invite you to share your personal connection with Dynasty. What moments linger in the recesses of your mind? Which characters left an indelible impression on your soul? Was it the unrelenting battles for control, the dazzling couture, or perhaps the unexpected twists that kept you on the edge of your seat? In this moment of reflection, your memories become the narrative, intertwining with the legacy of Dynasty itself. 
Your thoughts, anecdotes, and favorite scenes are the threads that weave the fabric of collective nostalgia. Share them with us, and let's build a mosaic of reminiscence that pays homage to the timeless allure of Dynasty. In the spirit of Carrington camaraderie, let your voice be heard. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic journey with us. Your time and sentiments are treasures we hold dear. Until we cross paths again, relish in the memories, savor the drama, and may your connection with Dynasty endure like the finest vintage wine.